Hi, I'm Bodie Pendis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a butterfly key in a workbench. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a butterfly key. Actually, it's half of a butterfly key, a butterfly key in a bench. And actually, it's a half a butterfly key. So this is the end of the pecan bench. It's got a nice crack in here. It comes all the way out to the edge. So I need to fix that. So I'm gonna cut a little key, but I'm gonna cut it on the end so it's gonna be, I guess, a half key. And we'll fill that in with walnuts. So we got some four quarter, excuse me, eight quarter walnut here. So we're gonna use this insert in here, then we'll put some dowels into here, run it into the board to prevent it from being able to move that way. So the key is put it on the bandsaw. It's got these two pieces, and I have these angles come to where they'll come all the way out to the edge here. So I'm anticipating I'll be able to cut a straight line there and one all the way in here. So let's see if we can do that. So I put my pecan bench on my traveler jig. It's equal height with the table of my bandsaw and proceeded to cut the ends. You can see it's kind of a challenge to push it in straight to get it to go in straight. But that's part of the fun. Next I cut a couple of relief points along the edge of the cut to be able to make it easy when I pushed through on the long side of the cut. I was able to do one side, but because I only had one side marked, I couldn't flip it over and cut the other. So I had to go to my handsaw to be able to get that cut made nice and straight. Used a couple different handsaws because of the depth limitation of the spline of the saw. After my cut was cleaned up with chisels, I put my piece of walnut underneath it and marked it. All right, to attach this, I'm going to drill a couple of holes through here. And I put this piece of tape to for my alignment aid to be able to drill these holes straight. My drill bit's not long enough to go through here and sufficiently into the pecan. So I'll drill it into the walnut first, go a little bit into the pecan, then I'll remove the key and then finish drilling these. And that's to keep that hole straight and parallel. So I put my drill collar on here because this is going to be the hole that's 3 eighths an inch, so I have a dowel. So I'm going to use, plug the hole with a dowel, and I'll need it to go inside the edge of the pecan. So oh, about this 3 quarters of an inch is about all I need. I'm going to use this three and a half inch screw that's going to go into my piece here to be able to snug this in and hold this straight. And so that's going to go in about that far. So since my drill bit's only this long, I'm going to drill it into through the walnut and into the pecan. And then I'll take the key out and then re-drill that so that can reach up far enough for that thing to reach in there without splitting the wood. Red point pit bit left a nice little center. So I know exactly where to drill. So that makes it easy enough to center this drill bit because of the Brad point pit. Now I'm gonna take off the tape back to here and leave it there and remove the key. There we 
go. So this is what the con looks like, and this is what the holes in here. So they're recessed with pilot holes in there. Now we can screw that puppy in. Screws into the hole with them just sticking out so I can attempt to get perfect alignment. A little hand plane work was all that was needed to flatten the top and the bottom to get it smooth and level with the top. And then also finish the edge to make sure that it was nice and smooth with the end of the bench. I inserted a couple of oak dowels to cover up the screws and the holes cut them off, sanded them smooth. The last step was to do epoxy fill to make sure we had nice contact. And then we do a little bit of sanding and finish work. And voila, we got a nice butterfly key finished in walnut and a pecan bench. If you liked our build on butterfly key, give us a thumbs up. Want to see more of our woodworking tips and projects? Consider subscribing down below. And as usual, come back and see me real soon.